Hey, and welcome to my journey. Today's video is a meal prep video. Now, I've only been going at it probably, and I'll, I'll give it an hour and a half to be generous. This is such a quick and easy couple of recipes that anybody could meal prep. The first one is a bacon and cheese frittata. I've made it before. Um, you mix it up and bake it. That's all there is to it. The hardest thing is cooking the bacon, chopping the onions. If you, if you use onions, which I do, cooking the bacon, I use the, um, pre-cooked bacon. Just popped it in the microwave. Easy as can be. And then for lunch is leftover chicken chili. So simple because the chicken's already cooked. You don't even have to brown hamburger. It's just cooked chicken. I had it in the freezer from when I made that roaster pan full of chicken thighs several weeks ago. They've come in really handy for um, a number of things so far. And now I did make a boo-boo <laughs> on that one, which you will see. I got the wrong kind of diced tomatoes, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So that's that's all there is to it this week. No snacks. I may make a, a batch of pudding. When I'm running low, behind, just a little bit on my protein, I can have a, a serving of pudding. And because I add the protein powder to it, the unflavored, and that, that bumps me right up. I've been able to um, get my protein in without having to have shakes here lately. So I think I'm doing really good in that department. So I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say about these recipes because they're just they're just easy. So how about we just turn around and get started cooking? This week for breakfast, we're making the bacon and cheese frittata. Super simple and super easy. What I have in this bowl is six eggs and salt and pepper. I decided this time to give it a little bit more flavor. So I also added some garlic powder and some onion powder. But I'll leave that up to you. You can um, season it any way you like, actually. So I just want to beat these a little bit. And we're going to add one cup of milk. And I'm using skim milk. You can use any kind of milk you like. Let's give this a good whisk. Okay, I think that's together pretty good. So we are going to pour it in a greased, which I sprayed it, 11 by 7 baking dish. I don't know how it would work in a um, 9 by 13. I don't know if it would be too thin. Now, I forgot to buy green onions. So, I'm just going to scatter it with some regular just chopped yellow onions. These are the ones I keep in the fridge ready to go then the recipe calls for five slices of bacon i'm using this fully cooked and as with everything else in the universe today they have shrunk it so there were only eight slices i went ahead and used all eight i was going to use more anyway because these are small they're pre-cooked and they're small smaller than your regular bacon even after it's cooked and when I went to take some more out of the second layer, there was only three pieces. So there's only eight pieces in the whole box. So I just went ahead and made eight, all eight. And I was going to show you, I'll show you this every now and then. This is the chopper. I've had this forever. It's one of my favorite things for just chopping any little thing in a bowl. Nuts, bacon, eggs. It's real good for chopping eggs. Um, and I do have one linked in my Amazon store if you want to go look at it. So then we're going to sprinkle our bacon. Let's see, maybe we do better with our hand. And then we want to top it with a half a cup of cheese. And this is just regular shredded cheddar. This will bake in a 350 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes 
or until the um hold on my counter's clean <laughs> until the center comes clean with a knife in it i didn't show you when it first came out of the oven it was puffy the knife came out clean but it was puffy but as it cools off it settles down so that is um, normal now these are four we talked about this last week these are four liquid ounces but when you fill it up it is three quarters of a cup of solid food so instead of measuring it and then um scooping it i'm just gonna measure it straight into my little dish here and anything i have left i will save for david and i'm not gonna i'm just gonna do five days worth and try to guesstimate by how much I'm listening, it might be pretty close to the six servings that the regular recipe makes, to be honest with you. We'll see when I get through here how much we have left. To start our chili, preheat your pot, your pan, what whatever you're using. Add just a little bit of I use avocado oil. You can use olive oil, whatever kind of oil you like. Then we need a large onion. I had to chop some more after I did breakfast because I didn't quite have a large onion worth. I think that'll do. And then two cloves of garlic. I just eyeball it out of the squeeze bottle. And then we will just cook this until these onions are tender. Okay, the onions are translucent and soft enough to where they will continue to cook after we add everything to it. So the first thing we have is a cup of chicken broth. I just made um, a cup of chicken bouillon because I didn't really have a need for half of a can of chicken broth, chicken stock, whatever you want to call it, at this time. So I just made it from bouillon. And then we have one can. Oh, I did not realize I opened Italian style. Oh, well, we're going to have fusion then. <laughs> I thought I was getting petite diced. When I bought these, I, I bought them by mistake teach me to pay attention to what I'm doing so we're going to have Italian Mexican chili how about that and then eight ounces of cooked chicken and this is my cooked chicken thighs that I made in the roaster a couple weeks ago and put in the freezer and then one can of kidney beans that I have drained and rinsed And then our spices, and I'm going to read off of the recipe. In here we have three quarters teaspoon of chili powder, three quarters teaspoon cumin, three quarters teaspoon smoked paprika, half a teaspoon garlic powder, half a teaspoon onion powder, half a teaspoon oregano, salt and pepper to taste, which I did half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. I thought it was just easier to do it that way than to have all those spice things all over the counter. Now we are just going to bring this up to the bowl. I'm going to raise that temperature just a little bit. And once it comes to the bowl, lower your temperature and simmer it for about a half hour. And it'll start um, getting thick, cooking down a little bit. So I will see you back when that happens. Okay, so I simmered this. I didn't thicken it all the way. I left it a little bit um, liquidy because since I'm meal prepping this and it's going to set up, I'm afraid that chicken will get thicker as it sits. So I would rather start out with a little bit looser um, chili than if I was serving it immediately. Now... 
I need three quarters of a cup. And the reason why I'm not putting this in my little containers is because I might want to add some cheese or some sour cream to the top, maybe a couple crackers, and I'll just have more room to do that in this container. Here we go for the week, bacon and cheese frittata. I got five servings out of it. That was um, the whole casserole. The calories and protein and whatnot will be on the screen. And then for lunch, the leftover chicken chili. I got five three-quarter cup servings, and this one was almost three-quarters cup. If I filled it all the way full, it would be. Um, but I didn't have another one of these containers. The rest of them are in the dishwasher or in the freezer. So I went ahead and popped it in that. So that's what I'm having this week. I hope this will help me stay on track. Give me something to eat when I'm hungry. And so that will do it for me this week. This weekend, this Saturday. I hope you're having a good weekend, speaking of. And I will see you in my next video.